In this video, we are going to talk about the love of my life, tunnel pinning. So this is what I have seen a lot of people do, and I used to do this as well, where you grab the hair section, you bring it back, you grab your first bobby pin, you slide it. Some people stop at one. Most of us used to stop at two. And you created this most beautiful X that marks the spot. So the reason why this is not my favorite is because now you have to hide these. And there's so much to do already. Curl the hair, manipulate the hair, style the hair. And then on top of all of that, you have to hide these. That's a lot of work, a lot of effort. So instead, I grab the hair, I twist it, I grab one bobby pin, slide it in, and I call this tunnel pinning, simply because I created a tunnel, slide in, in the tunnel, right? So this is nice because, well, obviously you can't really see it. And even if you could, it usually is that little tiny butt at the end. And even though I do have to hide these as well, it requires a lot less effort to hide some tiny little black butt right here versus having to hide two bobby pins that are crossing. So essentially, this is why I pin this way. I call it tunnel pinning. Another reason why I like it is because since the pin is about this long, right, into the hair, I can pull on the hair and the pin will still hold it and secure it for me so it's not floppy and loose. So see, I can grab, I'm always on, hanging on to my bobby pin, but I can grab it, pull it, and do the same on top. And this works really easily because the pin is about this long and the hair is nicely secured within that bobby pin. So once again, the love of my life, tunnel pinning.